guiding principle of your life should be self-development. Self-development, growth, understanding, and connection. Because ultimately in this world, we're not here by ourselves. We are constantly engaging with other people, whether that is on a very personal, intimate level, family, close friends, relationships, whether it's on a professional level, coworkers, colleagues, or whether that's on a very uh, detached level, the clerk at the store, or the person that's ringing you up, or your waiter, or whatever. These are all relationships. This is how we engage with people. And so... Whatever our understanding is of ourselves ultimately does affect every single relationship that we engage in. The more we take time to understand why we do the things we do, why things are successful when they're successful, we will be better able to apply them and extend them beyond. When we think about relationships and friendships, the, the whys that we tend to ask are often focused on the things that go wrong. My, uh, my friend and I had a fight. Why do we have a fight? You know, what happened? Like, what did that person do to piss me off? Or what did I do to piss that person off? If we're in a relationship and something's not going right, or there's a breakup, why did it end? You know, what did I do wrong? What did that person do wrong? Like, we, we ask those questions. But we don't really sit there, stop to reflect on when things are going correct. Why do I have the friendships that I have that have lasted for over a decade? Why do those exist? What are the qualities that make that relationship stay in this healthy form for such a long time? What has improved our connection? Now, if I ask those questions of why, I would be able to identify the things that make it work. And if I can identify those things, then I can apply those across the board. So one of those things is respecting each other's time. You know, we, we rarely um, dismiss each other. If we make plans, we stick to them. We don't let those things go. Yes, the why I might ask about getting upset with someone who's always late, very different. That doesn't happen as often as the friends that I do connect with on a regular basis, that I see, that I call. And the reason that it works is because we respect each other's time. Now, how can I extrapolate that into the rest of my life? Well, if I want to build relationships, not to say that I'm trying to be best friends with every single person I meet, but if I have another commitment, if I show up in the same way that provides uh, an avenue of success and growth and, and health in my relationship with my friend, then I am certain that I will pave the way for something positive in that other engagement too. Same thing with the healthy relationships and friendships that I have. Do I spend most of my time miserable? Do I spend most of my time upset with a frown on my face and I'm like angry or crying or upset? No, I am smiling, I'm happy, I am sharing things in a positive way. I am encouraging and supportive of my friend. Likewise, if I'm in a work environment, how do I show up there? I'm here hoping that my coworkers and colleagues can support me, but I'm showing up miserably. I show up at work and I'm like, oh, I don't want to be here. I'm just really, my face, my energy, my body, my tone, everything is uh, transmitting this energy of, I don't want to be here. I don't like it. I'm not happy. How do I expect to build relationships? Now, maybe we're not asking the question of, you know, am I succeeding here? Because, well, I have my job and I'm getting my paycheck, so success. But if you think about the environment that you're in and you wonder if you ask the question, why don't I have the same kind of connections at work that I do with my friends um, outside of work? Well, ask the why of what's going right. Like what is working? Why do those things work? And then see if you can bring that aspect into other areas of your life. So that's why I say, you know, we, we do have a tendency to ask a lot of questions of ourselves when things don't go right, when things fail, when there's conflict and when there's difficulty. Yes, there's a lot to learn about ourselves through struggle, lots to learn, but there is a lot to learn through our successes. 
if we take the time to analyze them, not just say, woohoo, this worked. Let me just keep on doing that. Well, what did you do? How did you do it? Could you really replicate it? And, and why would you want to replicate it? Right? If you have a purpose behind the things that you do, it makes it so much easier to truly extract the maximum and bring back and provide your max. So the guiding principle really is like, what, what do you want out of life? You know, what would provide you fulfillment and how could you contribute as well? When it comes to relationships, if we can answer those questions about the good times, the good encounters, like why those things exist, if, if you can understand the good stuff, the, the good characteristics, the good habits, the good actions, behaviors, tone, presence that you bring to your healthier relationships, it'll help you navigate conflict if you have it elsewhere, possibly even avoid conflict, but also create the environment and the relationships that you're looking for so that you can enjoy yourself, not just outside of work, but also at work not just off the dance floor with close friends, but also on the dance floor with random strangers. And in addition to that, like you, you will know what to look for. I mean, how many relationships do we look at and say, oh, you know, I don't want this again. But how clear can we be on what we want? And now I'm not talking about those, uh, you know, f um, fluffy idealistic things like I want a certain very specific physical characteristic or something like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like the details of this is the communication. This is the level of communication I have with my best friend for 15 years. What makes that successful? Why do we communicate the way we do? What do we bring to the table that makes that kind of communication possible? If I want to develop a friendship with someone else, how can I communicate this? These expectations or what I would like to deliver to that relationship to that new friend so that I can build something of equal value and equal strength with somebody else. Mm -hmm.